Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much for those inspiring words. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the Mehman Association of Sri Lanka, President and the Committee for inviting me for this occasion. Then again, I would have to pardon you all on a greater basis because with hopes, the official chief guest was Mr. Kumar Sangakara. So he has just sent me a video of good wishes to the Mayaman Association and on the 74th Independence Day of Sri Lanka. So let me start like this. When you categorically take people, the Muslims, the Mehmans, let it be Mehmans, Moors, are considered as merchants. With time, it changed up to producers. Initially, we were merchants. Then we tuned ourselves into producers, where people started looking up to us. So it gives a huge challenge, it gives a huge lesson to the global context, how people evolve, how societies evolve, and how they contribute. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. President, I think there are about 9,000 members in this country. As to my search, it's stood like that. But let that be on the economic contribution, let that be on the academic contribution, let that be on any form of contribution. It's more than 80% of the contributions have been made by members. I should be proudly telling you of that. Because you know why? Because I, I, had, I had been given a very small space where half of the things were told by half is Ekshan Kadri and half of the things were told by Yunus. So, I had to, I had to play it within my small space so they have told most of the things. But why is that? That is exactly what uh, Habiz Ekshan Kadri was mentioning. That we have that faith in Allah, faith in Rasul and we were following that pathway. Not only confining to ourselves, it's expanding ourselves beyond us. So that is what has made us recognize in the society as Sri Lankans, let that be any form of people that we've been recognized as benevolent humanitarian community. So that is what is mostly important than any of the other things because if we do not stand on this ground and if you do not identify yourselves as true patriotic Sri Lankans and I don't think we are fulfilling our Rasulullah's dream. It's always your motherland. It's part of faith. It doesn't matter what motherland you live in. So you respect diversity, you respect different faiths, you respect people and it is all given to us, it is all given to us through the Holy Quran, the teachings of Rasul, teachings of the Holy Quran. So I would not take much of a time, but simple two messages. Out of these 9,000 uh, people in the Mayan community, how many people are registered Sri Lankan as voters? That is very few, I suppose. Until unless you are not registered yourself, you live in this country, you work in this country, you do any amount of contribution, you do not stand a legal right. Why? Please do not hesitate. This is your land. This is our land. It's part of our duty to protect it. Two basic things you could do is, one, is your duty on getting yourself registered. Secondly, when it comes to Anwar Hamdani, there is no speech without COVID. So it is, it is inbuilt in me. So as of now, only 37% of 
the Sri Lankan population who are eligible and taken the booster vaccines. Why this myth? Why this disinformation circulation? Why this disbelief? I know there have been a lot of contest over it, but I am not here to contest the myths, disinformations, but I would always stand with ground and tell you with proven, proven and evident that please do take your boosters. That is also a part of faith which you are doing, contributing to the religion, the contributing the belief. Because in order you are saving your neighbor, you are not say only saving you. The booster is not only to save you. The booster, the vaccination is to save the neighbor as well. So if you do not recognize, if you do not realize the value of saving your neighbor, I don't think you are actually abiding by what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told. So it's our duty to make true things in a harmonious way, to sustain this independence. Though we celebrate 74, lot more to come, lot more to go. We will remain as one united nation apart from caste, creed, religion and faith. So, wish the Mayman Association of Sri Lanka all the very best and I wish our motherland 74th independence celebration, let that be a great spot. Thank you.